To live in the jungle, you must be cunning. Quick-witted. Then very, very smart. Or not. Have you noticed that Tuki has been acting strangely lately? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Hmm. It's simple. Your Tuki bird is full of evil spirits. Luckily for you, I just had my evil spirits horn tuned up. Uh -huh. Ah. George, Tuki Tuki Bird is suffering from a complex gastrointestinal bloating disorder. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. He has gas. Evil spirits! Gas! <laughs> Evil spirits! Gas! <laughs> <laughs> you started Bagpipes Day without me? No, we're curing Tookie of evil gas spirits. Uh, boys, there's nothing wrong with Tookie Tookie. He's in love. Ah. With her. Ooh, ooh. Huh? What do you mean? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> You mean little Tuki <laughs> is in love? <laughs> Tuki! Tuki, Tuki! <laughs> Who could ever fall in love with a girl? <laughs> George doesn't get it. I'm already your pal. Who do you need a girl for? <laughs> This new girl thing is gonna wreck our whole guy, a bird, two girls, and elephant thing. It's love, George. And it makes people do the most wonderful things, like getting makeovers. Ha! Tookie doesn't want a haircut. That's so funny, George will laugh right now. Ha! Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Eh. Uh, Tookie? If you want her to notice you, you need to give her something to remember you by. Uh, something a girl would really like. Uh, a fluffy kitten that never grows big, and its pink nose doubles as a pot lip gloss. I was thinking more like a worm. Give her this. George of the jungle, I'm surprised at you. <laughs> You're Tuki's best friend. Why aren't you being helpful? Everybody act normal. Ursula, I found out that it's the natural behavior of the oo bird to select her mate based on who builds the strongest nest. So if Tuki builds a strong nest, he's got a chance with her? Right. Uh, whose side is Ape on? Well, I'm on the side of nature, and in nature, you just have to go with whatever happens naturally. Okay, Tuki. Big nest, okay? See? You build.
ドキドキ。George's pal Tookie,、uh, that was just a trial nest. Why, he's building the biggest nest this jungle's ever seen! George, I'm really proud of you. I love it! Once George had a plan, it was easy. Right, Abe? And Abe? Close the glass door! <laughs> Uh, George, question. Shouldn't the nest be in the tree? <laughs> Ready, everyone? Ready up here. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> silly me. Uh, that's 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 good there. George saw two coconuts sitting together on the ground ones. They looked happy. George, I'm talking about real love. Look at Tookie Tookie. He is so happy, so in love, so blissful, so. <laughs> Leaving? Tookie? What's wrong? Why is Tookie hiding? <laughs> But. Tookie wants a girlfriend, right? To wreck all our good times, right? Tookie, Tookie! George doesn't get it. George, it turns out that whoever the oo-oo bird chooses for a mate, the other oo-oo birds attack it to see if it can defend itself. Hmm. George! Uh-oh. No. Uh-oh. Oo-oo! <laughs> oh, uh-oh, oo-oo, yeah. <laughs> Tell you what a sweet thing you did. Okay, okay. Help! Close the garage door. 
of the many terrors in the jungle. One is so horrible, oh. it makes kings of the jungle weak knee. Oh. Oh. <laughs> jungle cleanup day! Huh, the animals in this place are pigs. George, pigs are usually very tidy, just not during the playoffs. Weird shaped fruit. Ow! Not fruit. A seashell. What's a seashell? Seashells are things people collect for some reason. If you hold a seashell up to your ear, you hear the ocean. Hey, buddy, put me in your pocket nice and easy and act like nothing's wrong. It's talking to me! Yes, it's the sound of the ocean. Pretty neat, huh? I said, put me in your pocket. <laughs> Habitat for two manatees is such a good cause. Where shall we have them put the bathroom? How about right here? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. What does Ocean want? Oh, really? <clears throat> George spent all morning holding that shell to his ear. <laughs> Where did he find a shell around here anyway? It was just lying on the ground. I told him if he listened to it, he'd hear the ocean. George has never been to the ocean, but now, thanks to that shell, he knows what it sounds like. Then you're gonna call me a small, very comfy couch. Comfy couch? With a footrest and a maple dresser and a tiny hammock of the finest silk. And you know what happens if you don't. <laughs> George's head will fall off. Right, and don't forget it. George! Uh, can I help you? We were wondering if you were gonna help us lift these rocks. <clears throat> oh, just a sec. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. No. Uh-huh. Okay. Only silk George could find was an Ursula's scarf. Can't take that. Oop! George's going through a tunnel! I might lose you! Ah! Yeah, uh -huh. sure. Yeah, I know. Okay. So, George... Uh, you must really like the sound of ocean waves. Not waves. Ocean talks to George. Listen. Whoosh. 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 See? Get 120 feet of wood, 15 foot of rope, a brown bag lunch, and a root beer with a lid on it. Uh, hold on, hold on. Ape, do you have some paper? I have to write this stuff down. Oh, really? I can do that. George! This rock's telling you to build my kid a tree fort. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, hey, and this piece of bark's talking to me. Wait, it says, make me a three-masted schooner out of Brazil nuts. <laughs> Great. Mocking turtle. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh! He forgot to set place for ocean. Uh huh. Okay. George, could you pass the potatoes? <laughs> His hearing seems fine. Right. Ah. <laughs> No problem, Gravy. Have you taken any bad falls lately, George? Nope. Just crashed into lots of trees like normal. Eat quick. George has lots of stuff to make and build and sew and finish. Oh, I think my spoon may be dirty. George, what do you think? Uh, looks pretty clean from here, but George has been very, very busy. Uh, might not be seeing straight. What George needs is a quick ear cleaning. Ah. What he needs is the ancient wheel of snake teeth and pigeon feathers. <laughs> Three out of five witch doctors recommend it. Get away from him, you primitive shaman! Please, don't squeeze the shaman! <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey! Come on, let's go, go, go! <laughs> George 
followed all Ocean's instructions. Uh, what you want with this big springy thingy anyway? No questions! Now double check the coordinates and pull the lever. Hey, you've got earrings just like Magnolia and a scarf just like Ursula. Uh, must be a fan. Everybody's got the same look. Pull the lever! But, uh, what about George's head? What? Oh, yeah. Uh, just keep it out of the sun and use conditioner. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah! But when Ocean left, he had some just like them. A seashell had earrings? And you're saying the ocean left? That's why George had to make Ocean the springy thingy. But did, did my head fall off? George, we'd love to believe a seashell told you to build a catapult, but... Do you think George is <gasps> lying? Oh, well, not lying, lying. No, George, just lying, lying. But for a good reason, <laughs> probably. George is not a liar! <laughs> <laughs> Have to find Ocean. Make it tell friends that George isn't lying. <laughs> George! Oh, this hawk flies me away from here and drops me in the jungle. The jungle! Wow. Luckily, I find this knucklehead who I can get to make me this deluxe furniture. I do love this couch. Thanks, Wobble Eyes. Ocean! Uh-oh. Ouch! <laughs> So in order to find George, we're going to climb into this contraption and fling ourselves to who knows where? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Let's get this over with. Hello? Hello? Ocean? Hey, George! <laughs> Glad you could make it. Oh, Ocean, friends think George is a liar. I have to take Ocean back to show them I'm not. Whoa, big guy. No more travel for me. Look. If everyone makes fun of you, why go back? Stay here! You can get me some berries and spiders. It'll be fun. But my friends... Hey, you don't want your head to fall off, do ya? <laughs> the berries and spiders coming up. I can't see. We're at a beach. It's covered with crabs. You know how Mike and Betty Oyster always wanted to adopt? Adoptions! Magnolia, your pearl earrings! Where? Where? All right, who ordered grapes? Who had the spiders? <laughs> and who ordered the sea scum smoothie? Hurry it up, Stretch. Are you gonna build a small furniture or aren't you? And sweep up this sand, huh? And hang up a sunshade, huh? <gasps> Don't believe it. Conniving crabs? George was telling the truth the whole time. That's embarrassing. Ape, get us over there now! Uh. <laughs> Look, Ocean, George has done many things for you, and even though I don't want my head to fall off, you've got to come back with me and tell my friends that I was telling the truth. No, I ain't going nowhere with you. Crabs attack! <laughs> Head. You're not so tough now, huh? Leave him alone. <gasps> Attacking tree. <laughs> the jungle is angry. You must return, George. With my earrings and the scarf. With the earrings and the scarf. <gasps> These trees walk pretty good. Look, tree. We're just simple crabs with some nice furniture. What do you want from us? When are you going to tell George that it's us in here? When we're a little closer to home. Mush! Warrior! 
Heads will fall off! Oh, 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 o